Twenty years ago, Kazuya lost to Heihachi and was thrown into the mouth of a volcano. A few days later, he was brought back to life by G Corporation, a biotech firm making revolutionary advances in the field of biogenetics research. With G Corporation's aid, Kazuya investigated the biomechanics of the devil gene within him by subjecting himself to various experiments. Kazuya believed that once he unlocked and controlled the power of the devil gene, he would be powerful enough to defeat Heihachi and destroy the Mishima Zaibatsu. Twenty years later, the Tekken forces attacked G Corporation's facility and stole their research data. Kazuya was also targeted in the attack. Kazuya was infuriated by Heihachi's interference once again. He was determined more than ever to exact his vengeance. Kazuya was not fooled by the sudden announcement of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. He knew that it was a trap orchestrated by Heihachi to lure him out. Despite this knowledge, Kazuya enters the tournament. This is his chance to defeat Heihachi.
<笑>我は貴様らがデビルと呼ぶ存在20年前貴様に殺されかけた時に分離した我が半身をこやつから取り戻す今こそ我が復活の時<笑>おかげで手間一つ省けた褒美に我が力を味わわせてやろう<笑>どうした貴様らの科学で我を研究し尽くしたのではないのか Defeated through the entire King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, and even triumphed over Ogre. Swelling with pride, Paul returned home. However, unknown to Paul, Ogre morphed into his second form, True Ogre, and the tournament continued after his departure. Although Paul claimed that he was the true champion of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, few believed him. And even those who did eventually grew tired of his attitude. Eventually, his dojo went out of business from the lack of students. One day, Paul spotted a newspaper flyer announcing the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Burning with desire to win this tournament, Paul decided to put his reputation on the line and prove once and for all that he was the one true champion. He proclaimed, This time, I'll be the undisputed champion.
All right, let's take a cab. Australia, a city crowded with buildings, new and old. Nestled amongst the towering buildings was a small dojo. A young man trained there in silence, his face hidden by the hood of his jacket. Day after day, Jin trained in the traditional art of karate. Ever since his betrayal by Heihachi, Jin loathed anything related to the Mishimas, his lineage, his fighting style, the devil gene in his blood, everything. Thanks to the dojo master's training, Jin unlearned the Mishimas in his fighting style and mastered the art of traditional karate. Jin burned with desire to destroy the evil Mishima Blabla, his grandfather, Heihachi Mishima, and his father, Kazuya. Upon hearing rumors of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4, Jin hardened his resolve to enter the tournament.
風間淳に感謝しろ Violet was the majority shareholder and de facto leader of a manufacturer for humanoid robots. He was apparently a fighter in the past, but now lived a quiet life in a mansion in the Bahamas. Bored by his carefree lifestyle, Violet decided to enter the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. There was another significant reason for his entry into the tournament. Violet believed that he could turn his humanoid robots into the ultimate fighting weapons. He believed in a utopian world where inorganic humanoids would carry out the will of their human masters. Violet accelerated the development of a prototype for the tournament. If completed in time, the tournament would be an excellent PR opportunity. Violet's mind was filled with visions of dominating the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Twenty years ago, Lee was expelled from the Mishima Zaibatsu when he betrayed Heihachi and sided with Kazuya at the King of Iron Fist Tournament 2. Thoughts of revenge consumed Lee for a long time. But eventually he realized that it was pointless to kill an old man who probably only had a few years left in his life at best. With that epiphany, Lee distanced himself from fighting and moved to a mansion in the Bahamas to lead a solitary life. One day he discovered a huge sell-off of G Corporation's stock. Lee's intuition told him that something happened in the company. His intuition was correct. The Mishima Zaibatsu attacked G Corporation and caused significant damage to their research facilities. He also learned that the Mishima Zaibatsu was searching for a critical component needed to complete one of their projects. Oddly enough, an announcement was made for the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4 around the same time. Lee's fading passion for fighting was rekindled, along with his resentment towards the Mishima clan. Lee decides to enter the tournament under disguise in order to prevent the Mishima Zaibatsu from discovering his true identity. Thank you! Thank you all! Thank you for your applause. But winning the tournament was not my ultimate goal. I participated in the tournament to gather test data for Combat and to promote its application as the ultimate fighting machine. I present to you now Combat. Combat. Give these nice folks a little demonstration.
Mr. Lee? The new combat prototype is finished, sir. This one better work to spec. Yes. Combat experiments were conducted against Heihachi. 10.23 seconds into the experiment, Combat unleashed a 50-hit combination. Heihachi was completely helpless. <laughs> Excellent. Xiaoyu was a junior at Mishima High School. But lacking any particular goals, Xiaoyu grew tired of her daily routine. One day, she received an anonymous email warning her of Heihachi's evil intentions and the dangers she faced. Though Xiaoyu replied to the email in hopes of an answer, she didn't receive any further messages. Xiao Yu's intuition told her that Jin, who had been missing since the last tournament, could be the sender. She believed in the message and began to distrust Heihachi and Mishima Zaibatsu. Upon hearing the announcement of the next tournament, Xiao Yu decided to enter in hopes of being reunited with Jin and to unveil the truth behind Heihachi and Mishima Zaibatsu. Undefeated for four years in the professional circuit, Craig Marduk was once a respected and feared Valley Tudo fighter. However, Craig was expelled from the professional ranks after being linked to a minor scandal. Bitter against his peers and society, Craig's wrath consumed his soul. 
One day, Craig started a bar brawl in Arizona and killed an opponent during the fight. Convicted of second-degree manslaughter, Craig was sentenced to 10 years in the state penitentiary. Two years later, Craig was mysteriously released from prison. Some anonymous benefactor had apparently paid off numerous judiciaries to arrange for Craig's release. An envelope was delivered to Craig shortly thereafter. It contained a plane ticket and a newspaper article about the King of Iron Fist Tournament Field. Craig Marduk? It is you. I used to watch your fights on TV all the time. I'm Jeff Slater, the current Val 2 champion. Hey, has the ex-champ forgotten how to fight? Come on, Marduk. Bring it on. It'll be the biggest unofficial bout of the century. The badass reigning champ versus the legend who disappeared in the wake of a scandal. All running away, huh? What's that? Afraid to see legendary fighter KO in the headlines? Don't bother getting up. Lay's life was consumed by police work as usual. Unfortunately for Lay, his living girlfriend got fed up with his workaholic lifestyle and dumped him in favor of Lay's assistant. Lay was devastated. Around the same time, Lay botched an operation to bring a crime syndicate to justice. The failure cost the police force two years' worth of intense, undercover investigation work. Lay's rivals in the force secretly reported to his superiors that he botched the operation by allowing personal affairs to affect his job performance. As a result, Lay wound up with a one-month suspension. During his suspension, Lay learned from an informant that an assassin was hired by the syndicate to murder a certain boxer participating in the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Lay enters the tournament in hopes of redeeming his honor. <laughs> After the King of Iron Fist Tournament 2, 
The Mishima Zaibatsu used Nina as a test subject for experimental cryogenics research. Fifteen years later, Nina was released from cryosleep to fight in the third tournament. She fought in the tournament while suffering from cryosleep-induced amnesia. Since then, Nina escaped from the reaches of the Mishima Zaibatsu and spent her days carrying out missions as a contract assassin. To this day, she has been unable to regain memories of Anna or her previous life. Without memories or anyone to rely on, the only thing she could do was to execute her contracts for money. One day, Nina accepted a contract from a mafia organization. was Steve Fox, a world boxing champion. Nina infiltrated the tournament and set her sights on her new target. British boxer enjoying his run as the middleweight champion of the world. Adopted during infancy, Steve sought the identity of his biological parents, as well as the origin of the scar on his arm. One day, Steve was ordered by a mafia group to throw a high-stakes fight, but he refused and instead won the fight. Unfortunately, the Mafia made good on their threats and put a price on Steve's head. With the Mafia in hot pursuit, Steve fled England for the United States and led a life of the But Steve soon realized that no matter what he did, the Mafia would eventually catch and kill him. He would never learn the truth of his past. Motivated by this realization, Steve sought the limelight once again and entered the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4.
Senor. Please! Eddie Gordo learned capoeira from a master during his imprisonment. This master had a granddaughter named Christy. While in prison, Eddie swore an oath to him that he would pass on the art of capoeira to Christy. Shortly after returning from the King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, Eddie took Christy under his wing and taught her the art of capoeira, just as he promised. She became an impressive fighter after two years of training. But Eddie left abruptly soon thereafter. Those responsible for my father's death must pay. His words were all that was left behind for Christy. Troubled by his sudden and mysterious disappearance, Christy pursued Eddie. to your victory. person who could change this, Dr. Abel, his creator. But Abel abandoned him two years ago when the Mishima Zaibatsu recruited him as its top scientific advisor. Brian despised the both of them, Mishima Zaibatsu for taking Abel away from him and Abel himself for abandoning him. One day, news of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4 reached Brian, and he decided to enter the tournament. Despite his impending death, Brian's body flowed with energy, making him more powerful than before. Along with this new strength, Brian developed an uncontrollable rage that manifested itself in his outward physical appearance. takes everything on one hope, that if he defeats Heihachi Mishima, he will become the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. If all goes according to plan, Brian would command Abel to modify his body, thus becoming the most powerful being in existence once again. who saved you? He did. I'm certain you're wondering why. It's because we need your cooperation. By mechanizing you, I will extend your lifespan. In return, I will keep your original body. You see, 
The key to defeating Abel's bioweapon is contained within your body. Understand? Well, shall we get started then? This will be the start of a new future for you, as well as us. When you wake, it will feel as though only a moment has passed. But in reality, a year will have gone by. You will be completely reborn in a new body. All right? Sweet dreams. After losing to Paul Phoenix in the last tournament, Kuma realized that he had lost touch with his wild instincts. He realized that as long as he remained Heihachi's pet, he would be unable to use his instincts to his advantage. Thus, Kuma trained alone in the mountains of Hokkaido, determined to regain his powers. Life in the wilderness was more brutal than any training Kuma had endured under Heihachi. Despite this, Kuma continued his harsh regimen. He burned with a desire to defeat Paul. His efforts eventually paid off. His skills improved dramatically, and he even developed new attacks of his own. But the one thing Kuma could not give up was his addiction to television. Every so often he went down to the village and watched TV through the villagers' windows. During his second year of training, Kuma went down to the village as usual. While looking through the window of one particular house, he saw a television commercial announcing the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Kuma's instincts burned for battle as he headed towards the tournament site. Paul would be at the tournament, and Kuma was determined to defeat him. その契約書に母音を押すのじゃ。そうじゃそうじゃ。楽しかろう。ほれ、まだまだあるぞ。After the last tournament, Panda accompanied Xiao Yu back to Mishima High School. Since then, Panda spent her days training with Xiao Yu. On some days, she wondered just a little about the whereabouts of Kuma, who disappeared after the tournament. One day, two years after the tournament, a preoccupied Xiaoyu mentioned the announcement for the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. After hearing Xiaoyu's concerns about the tournament and the Mishima Zaibatsu, Panda decided to become the Shoryu's bodyguard once again.
重要な話って何え何何うわー懐かしいパンダこの写真大事にしてたっけでもどうして急にあジン分かった一緒に探しに行くってこと私一人でどうして二人で世界中を探し回ろうよ嫌だよ一緒に行こうよそっかもしかして自分が保護動物だってこと気にしてでもよっ分かった一人で行ってくるずっと友達だよ Back in his homeland of Korea, Orang was drafted into the military and assigned to a spec ops unit. Although his success in various missions was highly regarded, his penchant for disobeying rules and orders gave his senior officers more than a few headaches. Orang felt a strange emptiness within him. He recalled longingly of the day's hustling money and street fights. Rush of hand to hand combat and his fight against Jin Kazama. The military could not quell these yearnings. One day, the announcement of the next tournament reached Horang's ears. For the first time in years, his blood began to stir. He would defeat Jin, Heihachi Mishima. And anyone else who dared to stand in his way of claiming Mishima's a boxer was his own. Bursting with anticipation, the Rang slipped out from the military base and headed for the tournament. You're finally here! So, what do you want? I never got to fight you at the tournament. I'll take you on right here, right now. There's no reason to fight. You ain't got one? Well, I do! <sighs> Sergeant! Desertion is an offense punishable by court-martial. Give yourself up, soldier! Oi. Sama, remember, I kicked your ass back there. Hey, you listening? I'll give you a chance to even the score at the next tournament. You better show up. Cease fire!
leader of the Manji Party, Yoshimitsu dedicated himself to providing food, medical assistance, and shelter to the ever-increasing number of political refugees around the world. Unfortunately, with a constant lack of necessary funding and manpower, Yoshimitsu was unsure about the future of his organization. When Yoshimitsu heard about the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4, he envisioned a union between the Manji Party and the Mishima Zaibatsu. With this dream in his mind, Yoshimitsu decided to enter the tournament immediately. He must defeat Eihachi Mishima at any cost. ガイの勝者はお前だ。だがマンジ島南図に三島財閥は渡せん。お前らマンジ島は決心失守だった。エスラごとの理想で大衆を先導し断るごとには知らぬ邪魔をする。天網開会、それにしてもらさず。ジャ
You're wrong! How can that be our future? A world where such horrible things exist? Stupid woman! One day, I will reforest this land. I swear it. Two years ago, Heihachi failed to capture Ogre, but his researchers succeeded in collecting samples of its blood and tissue. These in turn were used in an attempt to create a new life form by combining Heihachi's and Ogre's genetic material. The experiment failed, however, and Heihachi learned that he lacked the devil gene necessary to integrate Ogre's genome with his own. In order to obtain the devil gene, Heihachi searched for Jin, who had transformed into a devil during the last tournament. During his search, Heihachi learned that the body of his son, Kazuya, whom he killed 20 years ago, was stored at a cutting-edge biotech firm called G Corporation. Heihachi ordered his Tekken force to raid G Corporation in an attempt to obtain Kazuya's remains. However, the mission ended in failure when Kazuya, revived by G Corporation, retaliated. In order to create a new life form, Heihachi needed the body of Kazuya or Jin, both of whom carried the devil gene. After much deliberation, an evil smile spread across Heihachi's lips. The next day, the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4 was announced. デビル遺伝子に深く侵されたものならば数分で意識を失うこれで全ての熊が我が元に揃った貴様たちもわしの役に立って死ねることに感謝しろ <笑>
The murderer was serving time in an Arizona state penitentiary. With the money he earned from professional wrestling tournaments, King arranged for the murderer's release. King then sent him a plane ticket and an article about the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. With his plans in motion, King headed for the tournament to await his sworn enemy, the Volley Tudo Fighter. Martial law was a successful businessman. He managed a newly established dojo and owned a successful nationwide Chinese fast food chain called Marshall China. Unfortunately, he lost a franchise war against a competing restaurant chain and had to declare bankruptcy a year later. Unable to cope with failure, Marshall fell into depression and spent his days at home on his couch in a drunken haze. Then one day, a notice for the tournament arrived at his doorstep. Marshall's eyes flashed with renewed vigor. After a month of intense training, he beat himself back into top physical form. This is it, he said to himself. It's all or nothing. The fire within him raged hotter than ever before. Man, the food here sucks! We have to pay for this? What did you just say? You heard me, I said this food sucks! You expect us to eat this stuff? What do you mean it sucks? This pepper beef is too damn spicy! <laughs> what are you talking about? This is good. stance a bit more and combat is a general purpose humanoid robot unlike any other developed to date its powerful learning AI enables it to perfectly mimic any human motion captured on its mocap sensor arrays this ability makes combat suitable for a wide range of applications anything from household tasks to military duty 
This particular unit was customized for hand-to-hand -hand combat. The developer's plan called for combat to memorize each type of fighting style as it progressed through the tournament. The end result would be the most powerful hand-to-hand -hand fighter on Earth. Unfortunately, the project failed to meet its deadline, and a few bugs remain in combat's memory subsystems. This prevents combat from executing more than one person's fighting style each time it is powered up.